Today's video is on quick fixes for sciatica. This is a very, uh, very common problem that we see quite a bit. Oh, yeah. And um, what I do is my rubber band, breathe. Get <laughs> this red rubber band right here, do you see it? <laughs> this, is my, this, is, this is my visual aid for sciatica. Okay, thanks for it. Okay, so Jessica, turn around. We're gonna show people where sciatica is. Ta-da! Sciatica comes from the back goes down through the butt and down the leg, right? So this is, it's red, because it's, it's on fire, it hurts. Okay, so, fire. it's on fire. Okay, so with sciatica, there is a couple of very quick fixes that we can do for people who are having like a really acute episode. So, meaning like you're feeling it all the way down the leg, so much so that typically you're bent forward a little bit, which is actually the opposite of what you want to be doing. We actually want to get you in some extension. So if you're experiencing seeing some sciatica, whew, there's a lot of S's and C's in there, um, then this is a way that you can kind of progress some exercises with this. Mm -hmm. So the first thing um, that we'll have Jessica do is we want to get you just on your stomach. So lay down on your stomach, but you don't want to go all the way flat. You want to actually be on two pillows, sort of like this, okay? So the idea is you're not going to want to go, yeah, here, actually, let's move the pillows this way. Let's move the pillows this way, like this, okay. So when you have sciatica, you don't want to, your brain's telling you, you don't want to go this way, because it'll actually increase the symptoms uh, short term. But you actually do want to go that way, but you may not be able to tolerate it first. So what you have to do is actually just get in a position where, again, if you're, flexed like this, getting you just even a little more extended is better. And so you start with two pillows. So you can see Jessica's sort of like slightly flexed, okay? And so you might just lay someone here, or you, you try this at home, just lay down on your stomach in the slightly flexed position and see if you can tolerate it. Now, if you can tolerate it, then what you do is you remove a pillow, okay? And then you go down to one pillow. So then she is even more straighter right we're getting her into a little bit of extension so you do that for about a minute okay then the next thing is you could just lay completely flat so maybe you don't even have any pillows and you're having a bout of sciatica just even laying flat on the ground like this would be better than being slightly flexed okay so from this position of just being of laying flat like this, the next one would be propping up on your elbows. And what do we call this position, Jessica? Prone propped. Prone propped. All right, there's, there's a ancient Egyptian name for this. Ooh. Do you know what it is? I know. The Sphinx position. Oh, that's a yoga move. Yep. Right? I don't know all the yoga terms. Yeah, so you can be a pharaoh and help your low back pain. Right? Isn't that what's on the Sphinx, the pharaoh's face? Yeah, it's been on But then it's like pause. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, <laughs> we went from sciatica to some Thanks. ancient Egyptian thing. But anyway, so this is, as you can see why, people get it, it's called the sphinx position. Okay, so you're in this. So with this, you're actually now in quite a bit more extension in the low back, right? We slowly went from curved to a little less curved to flat to now extended, okay? So this, again, this may be something where you can get into this position and it'll feel a little tight back and painful here at first, but then you'll slowly be able to tolerate it more. And let's say it starts to bother you and you can just go flat again, and then you come back to the Sphinx position, okay? So how do we progress the Sphinx position is actually to do press-ups. All right, so just explain the press-up to us and what is key when doing the press-up so that you don't actually do a push-up or a plank. Okay, so for the press up, you're going to first want to get your hands underneath your shoulders as if you're in like a push-up position. If that feels too aggressive, you can come forward a little bit. Um, and then what you want to do, the key here, is to not tighten up your glutes and your legs, right? You want to keep this like completely paralyzed from the waist down. And this is basically a tricep strengthening exercise as well. You'll we'll hear a lot of people say that their triceps hurt after doing a bunch of these, which Bonus. is good. Yeah. yeah, bonus. And then what you're going to do is, like we said, isolating those triceps as much as you can without tightening, it's going to be hard, is to just slowly push up. You might only be able to go to here, that's fine. 
you might be able to go all the way up, that's even better. And again, you want to tighten your glutes, even I have trouble with it, but then once you get to the top there, you want to just completely relax that lower body. And you, the key is to keep it moving too. You don't want to necessarily hold it super long, up and down, keeping it nice and dynamic. Yeah. So. If you feel like your hips are coming off, so show us what, what, what people do a lot of times in bringing their hips up. Yeah, they kind of do that. Like, it's hard to not be in this position and do a push-up. Right. Like, your brain's like, do a push-up. Don't do a push-up. Try to keep your hips down and, and, and let this part extend. And it will fill. What's interesting with this, a lot of times when people do it, the first couple reps will, like, be uncomfortable. But then by rep 7, 8, 9, 10, it feels a lot better. Yeah. And what you'll notice then is hopefully, like if, if you have symptoms all the way down the leg, the symptoms will start to come up, mm -hmm. okay? Centralization. Centralization of yeah. symptoms, right. All right, so the next thing we usually take people through, so let's say um, they're still having quite a little bit of pain on this one side, sciatic is usually just on one side. If you have it on both sides, that's a red flag. You need to see a physician for that right away. Um, is we try to curve the person towards the side. All right, Bree, you may have to move the camera if you just want to get a little bit better angle. So what we want to do is set Jessica up like this. We want her feet over here and then her upper body over there so that she's sort of curved like this. And go ahead and lay flat, okay? So come, come look at this. Okay, so can you see that? So it's sort of like we drew a line like this line on her jacket. It goes down like that. So in a sense, we're compressing this side that has the sciatica a little bit more. And then from this position, you can also do a press up. So is this um, for somebody who has it on the right or the left? This is if someone has it on the right side. Okay. So you're shifting. Towards that side. Yes, you're curving your body towards the side that's painful. It's a good point. Okay, so this is another thing. And then in that position, you can do some, go back to the press ups and do a couple of those. And that will off another way of trying to get rid of some of that pain going down through the buttocks into the leg. All right, another thing that we like to do in this position is we can actually, I call this the frog leg, is you can take this leg, the side that has the pain, and kick it out to the side like this, okay? Again, it just changes. I think it may put the sciatic nerve on a little bit more slack and some of the muscles in the glutes and the hips on slack. They're not as stretched. And that can be a comfortable position for relieving pain through here. And then again, you can go ahead and do some press ups in that position. Okay? So, yep, go ahead, press ups in the frog leg position. Okay, we're almost done. We're going through this. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and flip on your back. And this would be what we call nerve flossing. So, this is like a really gentle uh, way of getting a little bit of movement in the nerve. So go ahead and show us that, Jessica. My sciatica has now moved to the left side. Her sciatica is now on the left side. It's moving sciatica. Okay. And then you're just going to go up and down. So you don't want to do this so much that it's burning, right? You don't want to be like, oh, it hurts so bad. Okay. It's just really gentle. It just gets a little bit of movement. And then you can control how much tension is based on what your foot does. Okay. So this is another gentle way to kind of stretch and move the sciatic nerve. All right, there's one other one. Go ahead and sit up, Jessica. We'll do this one together. Scoot down there. Okay, so it's kind of that same thing, the nerve flossing you can also do in sitting. I typically have people lean back a little bit, and then you're gonna kick your leg up. So if we had sciatica on the right side. And again, you don't wanna like uh, bend your foot in and push your head down and make it burn. You just want to feel like you're stretching it just a little bit. So just a little bit of tension in and out. Okay? So that's kind of a sequence. I don't know how many of ones there, eight or nine maybe. A sequence of different stages of when you have sciatica and you're kind of bent forward, it's hurting a lot. What are the steps you should go through to help relieve the sciatica? So give those a try if you're having this problem or you know someone who has. Thanks for watching.